So guys, this will be what a few of you have been waiting for. Horus Heresy Book 3, Extermination. Can have a quick flick through them, let you have a look, see what we've got in there. That is a really nice book, same as the other ones. Got some nice um, pictures in there. Got amazing artwork. Map of the sector, as is in all of the books. Different sections, you've got the Ashes of Istvan, which basically takes you through what's happened at the end of the Istvan battle. Fires of Heresy. Now, Invasion of Paramax. This section did surprise me. It is a section about the Alpha Legion attacking a um, Forge World, which is defended by the Iron Warriors. It is a loyal detachment of Iron Warriors who actually fight them off. So you've got the description of the whole battle in there, the Titans, various things that are going on. Then you've got um, Victory's Vengeance section. This section goes on about um, how the Raven Guard were surviving on Istvan 5. The Hunt for the Fallen, really nice picture there, even if it does have the um, Iron Hands banners there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, You've got a picture of a, a, a prototype marine armour, or Mark 6 as we all know. Got the Battle of Fal, which tells you a bit about what's going on. Some nice pictures of some of the ships. You've got the Iron Blood, Perturabo's ship. You've got the Tribune, which is the um, Imperial Fliss flagship, Battle of Fal. Then we go into the sections on the, the various uh, legions. So you've got the um, Imperial Fliss, some nice artwork for the designs of the um, the armour and things like that, the markings. The usual pictures of the armours. Assault Ram. Battles that they've been fight fighting in, the exemplary battles. As is the norm with the books. You've got the Alpha Legion. Some nice pictures of their um, flyers. And go through the book. Pictures of um, some heraldry from the uh, hands, the um, Alpha Legion. Some of the tanks. Some pictures of the armour. Usual ribbon bit here. I haven't been bookmarking that page. That's just where it's been. Nice pictures. The, um, the glaive there. Absolutely gorgeous looking tank. Your various battles and Iron Warriors. Pictures of the home world. Usual bits and pieces. Nice big spread there in the middle there. You've got your markings on your armour. Various bits and pieces in there. Nice picture of a Typhon Raven Guard. Picture of Deliverance. More pictures of tanks and things. Again, organisation and structure within the legions. Various tactical markings that's shown. Now if you look here, there's a grey colour scheme. For one of the um, pre-unification era or pre-Great um, Crusade era armour, before they met the um, Primarch, before they became the um, Raven Guard. Pictures of your other bits and pieces, your battles, you've got the Legio Furians. I do love the colour scheme on these. The black and yellow really, really does look nice. Absolutely gorgeous scheme. Pity they, um, they weren't the loyalist ones. Now you've got the... Um, the the Griffin Legio what was, what was it? Legio Griffonicus black and um, yellow scheme again but opposite way around then we go into your campaign system Victory's Vengeance now this is quite nice um, it does actually have rules for um, using strike forces now these are made up of small ad hoc units from Istvan it's basically made up so you can have a small skirmish game with your um, ad hoc unit. So you can have loyalists, you can have traitor, all fighting together. Um, or you can have 
loyalist faction or traitor faction fighting against each other. So you can have any of the legions that was at Istavan. You've got to look out for your resources, your ammo, your armour, because your things have got to be repaired. It's a really, really nice um, rule set for that. Might have to have a few games of that after we um, get things going. Just um, running around, I mean, you've got your list down here, which is just off the screen. Shows you um, what bits and pieces the, the you can um, resources you've got, so how many points you can have. You basically you get three characters. These are your main characters for your your force, and they will actually um, gain experience. And then each game you play, you get points to actually add extra points onto your force. They're all played on smaller scale. So you've got a two foot board. You've got a four foot board. Yep. And then you go into your other Blood in the Void expansion, which is um, basically your fighting on board ships, your battles of foul and stuff like that. Let's skip through these bits. Then you've got onto your um, Mechanicus list. Various bits and pieces in here, your Warlord traits, organisation of the Mechanicum, or some of the Mechanicum anyways. They are all separate and fight on their own. Special war gear. Um, more war gear for them. The Cyberthurgy, which is basically your Mechanicum psychic powers. Some pictures of um, Castlax onto your list. You got your Magus Prime. You've got your special character, Arch Magus in our Santarel. Um, Magus Dominus, Tech Priest Auxilia. Onto your elites, you've got your Myrmidon Secutors. Your troops, you've got your. Why do they have to come up with names? So, like, Ad Sencularis Covenant, which is basically your um, Tech Guard. Your Thalax Cohort, your Castlax Battle Automator. They're the basics that you've seen in the other books. You've got a Armored Conveyor there, which is basically um, transport for them. Which can carry up to 20 men. Um, yeah, I'm a bit looking forward to seeing that one. Uh, your Ursarax Cohort, which is basically your fast attack. Um, they come with a Lightning Claws, or Power Fists. Your um, Vorax Class Battle Automata. No idea what that is, but it sounds quite nasty. Lightning Gun, two Rotor Cannons. Um, you've got your Thanatar Class, that's the big thing that we saw in the um, forward open day with the big siege motor on its back you can have up to four, five of them in a unit 240 points each like but very nasty your Krios battle tanks which has got the choice of two different weapons Myrmidon destructors which we've all seen before you've got your knights you've got your, your basic knights from your um, imperial book you've got your um, knight lancer which has its own rules and mm. a lot bigger as we've seen in the pictures Space Marine Crusade Army List updates. You've got additional rules for your um, forces. You've got your um, Dreadclaw Drop Pod, Charybdis Drop Pod, or Assault Claw as it's called, Fire Raptor Gunship, which we've all been waiting for, Achilles Alpha Pattern Land Raider, Sicarian Venator Tank, the, the Falchion. Now, I did ask Tony Cottrell how to pronounce that. It is a Falchion. Well, that's how he pronounces it anyway. Your Stormblade, which is um, your basic Imperial Guard one with the big plasma gun on the top. Um, Castellum Stronghold, which we've all seen. That's been out for a while. Book's getting quite heavy at that side now. Uh, Space Marine Legion Appendix. So this is where your um, forces come in. You've got your Iron Warriors. Rules for a Warsmith. Specific War Gear, your Shrapnel Bolts. Cortex Controllers lets you take... Um, Mechanicus units, rights of war for the um, Iron Hands. You've got your Tyrant Siege Terminator squads. Uh, basically, Terminators with Cyclone missile launchers on the top. Iron Havoc squad, basically, it's your Havoc squad, but um, better at taking out tanks and um, strong points. You've got your characters, you've got Rasmus Golg, who's basically your. Um, I believe it's a 
Cataphracty Terminator Captain kind of guy. And then you've got Keir Valen. Now I believe this guy is the one from the um, 77th Iron Warriors Battalion, which is the ones that were defending the um, place at the start. I can't remember the name of it again. Uh, Perturabo. Nasty guy. Does actually have rules for after Istavan where he gets hold of um, Forge Breaker and adapts it. This guy has your um, ability to teleport in with his um, Terminators. Got your Alpha Legion. Various bits and pieces. Your Brain Strike Bolts. Lots of different things here for the Alpha Legion. Uh, Legion specific so you can saboteurs and bits and pieces. You've got your Headhunter Kill Team which um, looks a bit like a Seeker Squad. Is it a Seeker Squad? Yeah, yeah. So, similar sort of thing, special ammo. you got your Learning and Terminator Squad, which come in Cataphracty Armor and a Volkite Charger. You've got your characters, you've got Dynat, and you've got Exodus, the Assassin, who's... Um, Nasty piece of work. Then you've got Alpharius himself. We won't go into him there. People don't talk about him much. We've got um, Imperial Fists, basic rules, Solarite Power Gauntlet, uh, Storm Shield. They can actually have Storm Shields on the Terminators. And Assault Cannons. You've got your Templar Brethren unit. Which is basically, oh, let's see, basically Black Templars, really. Uh, ten Man Squad, Grigam Combat Shields, come with a Power Sword, Artificer Armor. Uh, you got your Phalanx Warder Squad, which is, um, it's not a Terminator Squad, another Power Armor Squad. Oh, right, well, camera seems to have, um, Stop there. So we'll keep going. We've got um, Sigismund, we've got Pollux. I have to sum this up quite quickly and run out of room on the camera. Rogel Dawn, Primark, Nice Armor, Storm Teeth, basically is a massive chain blade, chain sword, Voice of Terror, which is his um, bolter. Then we've gone to the Raven Guard, basically your. Uh, Hit and run tactics, chameleon, um, they can be given infravision, Raven's Talons, which are like unique lightning claws, I believe they are. You've got your um, Death Strike Squad, which is Shroud Bombs, uh, Stealth, Fatal Strike. Really, really nice looking unit, that one. Dark Fury Assault Squad, which is basically Jump Infantry. Let's see. Uh, Felt this end. They have a cover save of 5 plus and the turning rifle and deep strike. That's quite nice. Uh, they have a um, Darkwing Pattern Storm Eagle, which basically it's a stealth Storm Eagle with um, Eclipse missiles. And you've got your captains, you've got um, Alvarex Morn. A basic captain kind of character, coordinated planet strike as a special rule. Um, drop pods and um, flyers can re roll deep strike, uh, so, sorry, um, reserve rolls. You've got Moritat, so they get a Moritat captain, which is um, quite a nice ca character there. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Let you buy the book. Um, you've got Corvus Corax. And there we go. So that is book three. Hope you enjoy getting it. And I'll catch you again in the next video. Bye for now.